But our top story right now, with just days to go until kids head back to class, Orange County Teachers Union went back to the bargaining table today and hit a stalemate with the school district. And time is running out to come to an agreement with the district on their demands to keep teachers safe inside the classroom. News 6's Nadine Giannis was listening in all day and has the latest. Well, after weeks of negotiations and another seven hours of back and forth just today, the teachers union here in Orange County has officially declared an impasse. The two parties simply not agreeing on several issues like including language that would adhere to CDC guidelines, options for high risk teachers and disagreeing on whether or not it's even safe to reopen to begin with. People are, are pretty much panicked because they don't feel you have their backs. From demanding assurance that high risk teachers won't have to teach face to face. What are we supposed to do with the students that have come to the school and that are there to be face to face if there's not a teacher there to teach them? to making sure there's enough PPE like desk partitions. Barriers for each desk, for each right. student desk. I understand. We'll get back with you on that. I'm gonna have to take that back because I don't know the status. The Orange County Classroom Teachers Association and the school district met back at the bargaining table, going line by line in what's called a memorandum of understanding ahead of reopening schools, which is something the teachers union is still fighting to prevent happening in the first place. With Dr. Pino, you keep saying he didn't say we couldn't open. He didn't say you could. The two parties disagreeing on whether or not it's even safe to do so. If he felt that it was unsafe for students to return to school, he would certainly provide that response to us and give us that communication and feedback. As of right now, that has not happened. Because he is told by his boss, the governor, not to say that. So do I have respect for Dr. Pino? Uh, no, I don't. I have respect for medical experts who have the guts to stand up for the safety of students, parents, and the community at large. So now that it's an impasse, the next step would be taking this discussion to a magistrate. The teachers union hoping that they could waive that and take their arguments directly to the school board. The president not too long ago telling me they are hundreds of miles apart, nowhere near close to any agreements with school starting in just a few days. In Orange County tonight, I'm Nadine Giannis, getting results news six.